Hi, my name is David Bosan. I'm from Medellin, and I'm someone that stutters. So this camp is a way for uh, kids who stutter to learn that it is okay to stutter. It's, it's a way to help them become more effective communicators. David Palacios is a second year graduate student at UTEP and an advocate for the stuttering community. Um, I myself stutter, so it also May, may take me a few seconds to finish what I'm saying, but that's okay. This past week, he spent his time volunteering at the camp Dream, Speak, Live, a camp that teaches young kids who stutter to never let their stuttering stop them from using their voices and living their lives to the fullest. Yeah, it's really cool to see how some of these kids have grown in their confidence, in, in learning that it's okay to stutter. It's not something to be afraid of. It's not something to run away from. It's not something that makes them less than anybody else. Students who participated in the camp, like Lukji and Abel, enjoyed various activities that brought them out of their comfort zone. My favorite part about this camp was singing, talent show, and just a, a heavy thing I d d did here. We don't tell you to hide it, we tell you to celebrate it. Jeffrey Colson not only deals with stuttering himself, he also has children who stutter. And a camp like this is something he wishes he had when he was growing up. I feel like I would have been a lot more confident, not just in terms of my speech, but my overall person. This was the first time the camp was held in El Paso, but hopefully it won't be the last. This camp it encourages them to be proud of their voice because their voice includes stuttering. And Abel has some advice for kids who might be embarrassed of stuttering. But it's okay to, to stutter. Don't be scared to talk. Be yourself. If you would like more details about the Arthur M. Blank Center for Stuttering Education and Research, just click on this story at kvia.com. Iris Lopez, ABC7.